Hey guys. So I, uh, I saw a post earlier today and I just had to come and talk to you guys about it. So I'm on Facebook and I'm scrolling through the news feed and I see this guy. Um, I vaguely know. I, I definitely can't say that I know him personally, but I know of him. Um, and he posts something to the fact of um, some about him basically having himself together now, you know, I guess car job and the whole nine and you know he didn't want anybody trying to come and talk to him now it's like you know don't don't try to talk to me now that I got my stuff together type of thing um and I kind of I kind of laughed to myself at first but then I kind of I thought about it for a minute you know I truly thought about it and for one I thought about how backwards um that that thought process is and granted taking it with a grain of salt he might have been posting it kind of in a uh, a laughing matter, at, like kind of as a comical joke. Um, but I thought about it for a second because I've seen this far too often where men get with women and the idea is that, you know, he's coming to the table with basically nothing or close to nothing. And he gets with a woman, you know, hoping that she's going to, you know, help him kind of get himself together, like help pull him up. And let me just say how unfair that is. I think that that's unfair of anyone, woman or man, to get with someone in hopes that they're going to help you, you know, build yourself up or help you get it together. That's your job. And definitely as a man, you should want to be standing on your own two feet before you even step to a woman. It's not about, okay, I just want to get out here and date just to just to be doing something, just to have somebody around. I mean... My thing is, in order to be in a relationship, I believe that that relationship only makes sense if two people are building together and helping each other make each other better. I mean, I think at the end of the day, that's the goal. You're together, but you're not just together to take Instagram photos or take cute live videos or whatever the case may be on Facebook. Like, you're together for a purpose, and the purpose is building one another up. You're You're each other's, you know... You're each other's rock. You know, you're you're there for him, he's there for you. But now this is a completely different situation when you put yourself out there as a man to date and you're really not in a place to be dating. My thought is if you don't have yourself together, if you don't have a vehicle, and it don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be driving, pushing an Audi, but, you know, if you don't have a reliable vehicle, you don't have a car, um, Sorry, you don't have a reliable vehicle and you don't have um, a place to lay your head, your own place to lay your head um, and a job. I don't really think you're in any position to be dating. I think that's the time to be putting all of your focus into what you need to do to get yourself up on your feet. At that point, at your low point, that's not the time that you go and drag somebody new into your situation. Because you know what happens? You get a woman that has herself together and now she's trying to figure out how she can split her resources with you. And in return, she's not getting built up anymore. She's basically bringing herself down to, to where you're at. You shouldn't do that. I think that that's unfair. Now, see, there's a different situation. There's a difference between, you know, a man being overlooked because, you know, he's not pushing that Audi or he, he doesn't have a six-figure uh, income coming in. Um, and, he you know, he doesn't have a loft downtown. That's different, being overlooked because you don't have those things. In certain cases, I think a lot of this is unrealistic. Um, but there's a difference between that than being a man who is just not in a position to be dating and you're attempting to date and you're not getting anywhere. Well, no brainer, you're not getting anywhere because if this woman, if you get a woman who has herself together, she has a common sense. Common sense is going to tell her this is not the man for you. And, and if... If, even if this is the man for you, now is not the time because, you know, he needs to focus on getting himself together. I think there's this preconceived notion or this idea that in order to be a good woman or a ride or die or whatever, you got to put yourself in a position to, I, I feel like, to be taken advantage of. You got yourself together and you get this random man that comes along, you know, he's telling you all the right things, but he comes to the table with absolutely nothing. You know, he moves in with you. You're sharing a car. He's dropping you off at work. Bad enough, I've heard of people sharing cell phones. When you get down to that point, you both are not helping each other at all. And you're definitely not helping him. You're hindering him from doing what he needs to do as a man. And I'm not being biased just because I'm a woman. I feel the same way when the roles are reversed. I don't agree that any woman who doesn't have herself together, she goes and gets, 
you know, a man to help her further herself. I think at the times when you're in a low moment, you need a job, you need a car, you need rides to get, you know, to and from wherever you're trying to go. Those are the times of calling those friends, you know, that those people that you call friends. Those are the times to call on them. And those are the times for them to show you who they are. And if they really are, if they're even worth you calling them a friend. Those are the times to call on those family members, the ones that you're always helping to bail out and 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 running at the at the last minute and jumping and, and helping them out with stuff. That's the time to call them. That's the time to reach out on your family and your close friends. That's not the time to meet somebody new and make them take on the responsibility of taking care of you. And especially, I mean, especially a man. I think that that's so unattractive to have that mindset that this woman is supposed to take care of you. If you looking to be taken care of, sounds like to me you need to move back home. That's just my thought. I'm just keeping it 100. Um, and, and going a little step further, I would like to ask those men who have that idea, that have the idea that, yeah, I, it's okay for me to be out here trying to date and I don't have a car, or I don't have a um, reliable place to stay. For those men, I would like to ask them, what would you think if your daughter came home, your 15, 16, 17-year-old daughter came home and said, Dad, I got this, this new boyfriend. He's great. He tells me he loves me. He tells me I'm beautiful. And you start asking those important questions like, oh, okay, you know, well, you know, what, does he have himself together and this, this, and that? Now, granted, I know at 15, 16, I mean, you're not doing too much. But um, even at that age, as, as an adolescent growing up into a grown man, you should be doing something with your time. It definitely at 16, you're, you're old enough to work. So at that point, when you start asking those questions, well, you know, is he working? Is, you know, what type of plans does he have? Is he going to college? Or even older, you know, even worse, if she's, you know, 19, 20 years old and she meets someone and you're asking those important questions, you know, well, where does he work? Or, you know, is he in school or what is he doing? And you can't tell him anything. Oh, well, you know, I, he doesn't have a job right now. You know, he's going through some hard times. Well, you know, does he have his own car? Well, no, I'm, I'm kind of giving him rides right now. I can already tell you over half of the men, if you care about your daughters at all or your future daughters, if you don't have kids, I can guarantee you, you're going to tell her to run for the hills. I know it. You would tell her to run for the hills. If you're a real father, that's what you would tell her. Because your instinct tell you he don't have himself together. He's going to end up bringing my daughter down, and I don't want that. That's the reason why, as a father, you ask those questions when your daughter comes home and she's excited about somebody new. So think about that when you're out here attempting to try to date and you don't have yourself together. Think about that. That that girl, that woman, that's she has a dad. Like There's, there's someone who's going to ask her some questions, and the questions about you, when she answers them, might be a little bit embarrassing because... She didn't, you don't really have anything to show for, you know, your, your time on this earth. You don't have a job. You don't have a car. I mean, think about that. So think about that, fellas, when you're out here and you're attempting to date and you really don't have yourself together. My advice is get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be the best of the best, but just have something. If you got a consistent job that you've been working at, you have a reliable car and you got a place to lay your head, that's, that's enough right there. I agree at that point you can meet somebody and maybe they in kind of the same position. Y'all can help build each other up. Y'all can use, you know what I'm saying, kind of help each other with different resources and different things and bouncing ideas off of one another, and that can end up being a beautiful situation. Um, but you're not going to get anything, anything healthy, anything beneficial out of a situation with someone who's coming to the table with absolutely nothing. You're going to spend your whole relationship going around in circles. That's it, going around in circles. That's it. Trying, trying to help, trying to help this person get themselves together. You're splitting all your resources, trying to help them figure it out. Meanwhile, you're not, you're not, you're not growing. You're not um, elevating in whatever it is that you're doing. There's no way to elevate because anything extra that you have, you're giving it to him. So think about that. You know, whenever you're out here and and you're dating and you're asking those questions on the first, you know, first or second date. Think about those things. And men, if you've already evaluated yourself and you know that you don't have it together, there's nothing wrong with that. We all in life, we're going to cross a path where it's going to be a rough patch. That's just life. But at that point, you should take a step back and say, you know what, I'm going to focus on myself. You know, I'm going to give myself this amount of time. I'm going to get me a car. I'm going to you know, put my money to the side. Here's another thing I kind of I want to say before I end this. 
when you are trying to get, you know, things and get your, all your little affairs and stuff like that in order, think about it this way. If you're a real man and you believe in, you know, taking a woman out, asking her out, taking her on a date, and you, you know, you want to pay for that date as well, how are you going to budget trying to put up money to get whatever it is, if it's a place or if it's a car, how are you going to put money to the side for that when you're also trying to take someone on dates? I just think that's unfair on both ends. That's unfair for you to have to pay for the date when you're you're struggling and she has herself together. And it's unfair for you to be out here in general trying to date um, and, and hoping to latch on to someone who has it together. I'm, hopefully I didn't offend nobody, but that's that's just my honest opinion. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm, I'm curious to see from a male and a female's point of view, you know, what you think in terms of that. Um, and also you can follow me on Instagram. I am at I L U V M U S I C 87. I love music 87. Um, so y'all follow me there and hit me up in the comment section. And let me know what you think. All right. Y'all be easy.